Hi everybody, this is Brad and I'm back with another book review for you. This time I read The People's History of the United States, 1492 to the Present by Howard Zinn. This is a book that I actually kind of started in college. I had to read a few chapters for a class I had and those chapters really changed my perspective on a lot of American history and some important events in American history. But this is a review I kind of struggled with doing. How am I gonna review almost 700 pages of history without being dry or boring? So what I kind of decided to do is just talk about why I think the book's important and why I think you should read it if you have the chance. First of all, this book covers a lot of ground in American history, but it covers events we all know about and talked about, learned about in school, read about in history textbooks. The Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, the Industrial Revolution, the arrival of Columbus, just to name a few. But this gives you the perspective of people who are maybe on the other side of those events, the people that are exploited by them, or the people who are against them, and the people whose views on them didn't really fit with the mainstream at the time, and they might have been omitted from history. But why do I think that's important to read about? It's because even if you disagree with the people that are being talked about in this, or you disagree with the interpretation of events, if you don't have all the facts on something, how do you get perspective on it? To me, being a student of history in college, uh, history is about relationships. The reason events happened the way they did, and the reason that things are happening in the present, maybe, are related to these reasons. And you can't really have a perspective on things that are happening in your present day if you don't have a grasp on all the facts from history. And that's why I feel like a book like this is important. You're going to learn things that they didn't talk about in school, and you're going to learn about people that were omitted from your textbooks and why they were. And while this book is long, you can get it uh, on Hoopla, audiobook if you want, and just take the time and listen and learn and maybe gain some new perspective on American history, on your country, and maybe why things turned out how they did and maybe why or how we can change things in the future. But... Thank you. I hope you enjoy it.